Welcome to The Basement Dweller With your host, Jacob Santoro A.K.A. Your Favorite Manchild And that's why we pay the big bucks For the studio intro Uh you like that? That was yeah. good. Hey, man, say say what you will about it. It was a great, it was definitely money's well spent. The more I hear it, the more it sounds like part of the soundtrack to the uh, Rocket Power PlayStation 2 game, Beach Bandits, <laughs> which isn't bad. It was a fun game. That was, a, that was a very Asperger's yeah, response that was, to that. I you're very going specific. like far right field with You're that. Asperger's. Sometimes. I am with a lot of things. I've thought about that for a while. Like, Do you ever consider yourself like maybe I am? On, on the, the spectrum. On the spectrum. Yeah. I'm think about entirely that. on the spectrum. 100%. Yeah. I'm pretty sure I am. You just get excited. I think it's just most nerds, honestly. You just get excited about one fucking thing, and it's definitely not normal to be this excited about one particular thing. Or, like, how we hyper-focus yeah. on stuff. Yeah. Oh, for sure. Yeah. yeah. yeah like I've definitely been playing video games since brain. I was six. <laughs> yeah, right. I mean, we've all been playing video games since we could fucking walk. I mean, it's just... Yeah. Right, but, like, it hasn't, like, diminished for me at all. Like... No. The only reason it's diminished at all is because I have to work now. <laughs> like, Bro, <laughs> otherwise, I would yeah. just be on my fucking ass. I'd still probably be like, man, I wish I could wear diapers. I don't know how that but feels. I'm sorry. You don't like playing games that much? No, I don't know what it means to stop playing video games to like. Oh, well. To go to work. I guess that's fair. <laughs> I wish I was that fucking chill, dude. Fucking same, dude. And I work from home and fucking same. I didn't even do my introduction. No, so no, I'm just fucking, talking. <laughs> you did the intro. We heard it. Well, yeah. Okay. They don't know ready who to play I it again? Am. No. Ready to do it again? No. Okay. I'll do it again. I'm deaf, but I'm not that deaf. Yeah. Right. It's episode ten. Congratulations, Woo. dude. Thanks, man. Yeah. I can't even say that it's ten consecutive weeks because I fucked up on week nine. Yeah, That's fucking so fucked up. Idiot. God, about to say you're double digits and you're like, let's go to Vegas. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's why I hit. moron, dude. Yeah, you dude. had viewers waiting. I, I had legit viewers waiting. People were literally hitting me up on Twitter like, where the fuck is episode 10? And I'm like, sorry, homie, I had to lose money in Vegas first. But uh, as always, we have uh, the king of the shitty opinion, Robert, on, <laughs> you know, he's uh, it's his third of his, his third appearance. It's good to be back. Yeah, uh, I guess. And with us <laughs> now, our brand new guest. Um, what? Well, Let's see, car guy, magic guy, cryptocurrency guy, Halo nerd, the one, the only, Jesse. How's yeah. it going, Jesse? That's good. What kind of car do you turn into? Oh, <laughs> the best kind. <laughs> it's car guy. <laughs> Chevrolet leggies. Oh, hell yeah, dude. Got some shoe brews. That's his, that's his, and the, yeah, the, the charger next, next to your truck. I fucking love that I car. I figured, man, because I knew it wasn't your car. Yeah, no. Come, come no. on, dude. I actually called Jacob up, and I'm like, is that your teal square thing yeah. in the driveway. He's like, no, there's my roommates. Yeah, he drives <laughs> that tampon outside. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever, dude. I, 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 The only cool cred that I have is the fact that it's a stick shift. I still feel just a little bit cooler because I drive yeah. a stick shift car. That I don't is feel like sweet. buying a transmission from a Challenger and putting it in my no, car. No, fuck that. Because that Dodge, for some reason, is like, fuck it. Chargers don't get them. Right. Yeah, I mean... <laughs> So my only reason for getting it, honestly, was the fact that I just feel like it would be harder to steal. That's like honestly the way that I looked at it was that, and they're like five thousand dollars cheaper. Yeah, well, because no one wants to drive a yeah. The appeal of didn't, buying a stick shift. Didn't just, you have a really funny story about how uh, like you learned how to drive stick because like mom was super fucked up at a party? Yeah, no, the first time I ever drove stick, uh, my my mom and my aunt, cause my aunt lived right down the street from us, probably like a four or five minute drive away. Mm. Uh, they called me and asked if I wanted to come hang out because when they lived that close, there was a long time where, like, every weekend we would just go hang out with them. They'd barbecue and, like, we'd just do shit. And uh, my mom and my aunt pulled up in my aunt's car, and it was a stick shift, and they were both fucking hammered, dude, for mom, sure. Mom drunk, for sure? Yeah, they were both for sure drunk, and, like, they were like, hey, get in, we'll teach you how to drive stick. And, <laughs> and <laughs> what that meant was, hey, we're too drunk to drive, yeah. so... <laughs> I, Drive us back home. If I remember correctly, it was like right after I just gotten my license. So they were like, "Oh, they were stoked. That's why they probably yeah. got drunk." Oh, yeah. Just, <laughs> yeah, yeah. You know, your mom was in the back. Like, I know who could drive us. <laughs> I know for a fact. But I exactly. mean, even with those two drunk ladies directing me, I didn't stall. Good, I, really? I only, yeah, I only drove through the neighborhood, but like, I still didn't stall. Hey, man, coasting in first and second—that's the hardest part. That's so. what I'm saying, dude. Yeah. If you have to come to a stop as if a newbie. It, 
Oh kind of my blows. god! Like <laughs> it's that you know because we lived in a start. cul-de-sac, so I had to fucking turn out of that and then turn onto a main road. You know, it was, it was hard. I still do the newbie thing though, where when I am going coming to a stop, I always put it in neutral. I never downshift. Oh yeah, it's easier. It just, it just seems safer. It's well, okay, it's safer, but uh, you know, then you have car guys who are just like, oh, well, it's better for your transmission to yeah, you, you loop, yeah, keep it lubricated. Yeah, you fucking, you know, and I'm like, okay, thanks. whatever, dude. Yeah, There's thanks, enough Dick. fluid in it, dude. I spit on my transmission before bed every night. <laughs> it knows how much I love it. Dude. Looking at you, I believe that. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. You know, you have the smart move, though. You're out here rocking the fucking tank top. I got to stop wearing pants and fucking T-shirts. and. Dude, the tank top doesn't matter. It's 118 Bro, it, it's fucking so degrees fun. outside. It's a hard like, life out here. So like fucking hot. I got in my truck after work today. Yeah, it's just like, oh, we get to wear black. It's 120 degrees outside. Well, that's yeah. like when you had longer hair, too. Yeah. Like last summer, you'd fucking be in the shop. I'd see you walk in. You're like, oh, my God. I you shaved wear... my beard. Yeah. I went totally naked. Uh, it was like Cinco de Mayo. That's a I rough life when it makes you shave your beard. Yeah. It's so hot. I was walking outside and it was like 37 miles. I'm surprised day. you didn't because you work outside. So it's like. I hate I shaving think this my is face, like, dude. Yeah, it's it's tedious. Like once it's there, it's like. I've I gotten have to, into trimming I have to it. razor it. Like I have to trimmer it and then I have to razor it. So it's just. This is all I get. So I've gotten uh, into trimming it. But like even now I'm getting fucking lazy. Like I need to clean all this up. My mustache. I'm, I've been eating it for like a week, dude. Oh, yeah, yeah. Did you hear the crispiness of these mics? Do that again. Yeah. Ooh. Oh, oh wow. shit. Yeah, that's uh, we're on that 4K. Dude. Meanwhile, everybody on YouTube is probably like, I didn't hear shit. You know, we have people. It sounds like dog shit. We have, we have people. Like, I'll have people like, I say people. It's mostly my parents. And they're like, <laughs> <laughs> and they're just my like. My mom said my podcast is really handsome well, and they, smart. <laughs> so, they, so uh, episode six, I believe it was, with uh, Aaron and DJ, I posted, like, the thumbnail for the video was them. And so they were like, well, you should do that more. And I just fucking forget to make pictures or, you know, post pictures or whatever. Sure. And so, like, my mom was always like, what do they look like? Like, what did you guys, like, what did that mean? Like, wh- like, like, if there's something that clearly sounds like there's a gesture I'm doing, they're like, you should get a camera. And it's like, everything just costs so much fucking money, dude. And, like, I, yeah, this also. And editing takes time. Right. And I literally upload this to GarageBand and I just export it to MP3 because yeah. it's just all audio. Um, I don't know. Like, eventually, like, that'd be cool. But I sure. also don't think I'm really in the spot to do cameras right now. I mean, where we're at right now. In the uh, with an asterisk, the basement, you know, sure. I get that a lot too. Yeah. You're not are in the are basement. you actually in the yeah. basement? You live in Arizona. What do you mean? You know, I'll say this again. I've been to houses that have basement. Nick's uh, Nick's old house had a basement. Oh, they exist. They're just rare. Yeah, yeah they're rare. dude. There's not a necessity here for them. No. They're, tornadoes don't exist. But they're always tight. That's yeah. the thing. Yeah, always cool. Like as soon as someone has a basement, it's like an instant flex. You just want to hang out. Down yeah, because yeah. it's thirty degrees cooler than the rest. Oh, of Oh yeah, house. fucking rocks, dude. <laughs> Uh, you were talking about before the podcast, you said that you and your lady were hanging out and she got a picture of uh, margaritas. Yeah. And you're not a big tequila fan. It instantly reminded me of your 21st birthday. Do you remember that? Well, you don't remember that. <laughs> Probably but, not. Uh, man, so man. his mom, his mom. So like, one Does cool anybody thing, remember their 21st <laughs> birthday? Uh, no, I don't. I went to Mill Avenue. Um, oh, And the wow. last thing I remember was that old game bar that yeah. had like, uh, and I think it was called Endgame. Yeah. Um, yeah, and yeah. I remember and I ordered you met that Smash player. Yeah, I met it out. I, I met uh, Axe, who was like a professional melee player. Sure, but we're all fucked up. So I'm just like, I bet you I could kick your ass right now. And he's like, I don't want to deal with this right now. Yeah. But the last thing I remember is I ordered like this, like um, it was like a like a Team Rocket themed drink. I spilt it all over the fucking bartender, <laughs> and then they were like, you got to go. And then Christian carried me down the stairs. Do you remember that? Do you remember that bar? I never went to that oh, bar. I well, wasn't it was on old the second enough. Story yeah. and, uh, and before it closed down. Oh, uh, well, at night, for some reason, on Mill Avenue, they closed the escalators, so they're just stairs. So Christian had to carry me down the stairs, <laughs> and that was... How, the, and how I, he pulled that off? I know, right? He's <laughs> fucking four feet tall. <laughs> Fireman but carry. Then the last thing I remember was getting put into his mom's car. I woke up the next day with carne asada fries on my belly and my alarm going off. That shit was crazy. So, um, But anyways, back to the story is... What's cool about Robert's mom is Robert's mom has always been like that cool mom where it's like, if you guys are going to do this, yeah, just do it in the house kind yeah. of thing for the most part. <laughs> we don't want you getting arrested right. well, what, or then, hurt. Well, yeah, but once once we, once we Robert turned 21, now it was like, yeah, let's fucking party. And she made, it wasn't her, but maybe it was your aunt or her friend, but she made those birthday shots that taste like chocolate cake. Oh. It's like tequila. It was weird because it's like tequila, lemon juice, 
and something else, but it turned it tasted like and like sugar around the on the uh, around the, like, the yeah. rim of the glass, and it tasted like a chocolate cake. Are you sure you're not remembering my going away party for uh, <laughs> the Air Force? No, because I because you turned 21 when I was working at the dealership. Because for my 21st, I definitely went to Vegas with my dad. No, because I lived with I I lived alone. I lived in that apartment by myself, um, and I was working at the dealership. Remember, because that was the night that I told you, I literally told you at the beginning of the night, I was like, I can't drink that much because I have to work at like 7.30 a.m. I literally wow. brought a suit and tie, like, uniform the next day. I fucking woke up at 8.30 the next day. Were you a salesman? Dude, that yeah, was, was my salesman. going away oh, wow. party for yeah, sure. I wasn't good at it. <laughs> wasn't, no, it wasn't. That dude, was, it was not. <laughs> I wasn't good at it. It, it wasn't. Uh, I swear it was, dude. That was my going no, away party. No. Because I, like, I left the uh, I left the no, PlayStation Four dude. for you. Are you sure you weren't the fucked up? One? Maybe the point is is that I had like fucking seven of those fucking tequila shots. The fucking chocolate cake. And that was definitely that was definitely <laughs> yeah. I know me being fucking. I'm like oh chocolate cake. I want to. Because if you're remembering my my mom's attractive Hispanic friend, it was oh, definitely my going away you know party. What? It was his going away. Yeah, party. Oh, <laughs> yeah. She okay. was so hot, dude. And plus, she was just doing fucking par- party mom vibes. Yeah, dude. Virgin's been a babe for like my entire life. God. That rocks. Insane. I, my favorite part about that entire night is even at the end of the night, Robert was such a nice buddy that he let me sleep in his fucking bed. That's like been a whole thing. Every time I like throughout high school, staying the night at Robert's house, it's like yeah, dude, <laughs> oh. I slept in mom's bed that night. I, yeah. just, I just crashed in her bed. <laughs> You're like, go figure it out, mom. <laughs> no, it. she slept in there. She had a <laughs> big ass fucking bed. Oh, that's, right. Like, <laughs> that's right. I forgot about that. Robert's always just been a cool guy, and he just lets me sleep in his fucking twin bed. <laughs> I felt bad being like twenty four years old with a fucking twin bed. Like no. <laughs> that was pretty funny. <laughs> yeah, he also still had a Vegeta body pillow on that bed. Look, Dude, the only reason I don't saying, still like, have that is because my friend friends. puked on it. So like my high school friends, we we beat, we carried on. Like we kept being friends even at past. We were all twenty one and stuff. So like we had one friend like whose mom was mom. Like yeah. mm-hmm. she wasn't like don't call me Sue. Call me mom. Sure. And like when I got discharged from the Navy, my friends picked me up from the airport. They drove. I was sicker than shit. I had H1N1 and pink eye. What? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, 2009. My man had the pink hiney. Yeah. Yeah. (laughs) Dude, it was really hard playing spades and all the black guys were like, don't touch the car. (laughs) (laughs) Yeah. I'm just like, dude, I washed my hands like three times. Let's fucking play. And then oh I'd scrape all their money. So it was great. Damn. Yeah. That's, so. fucking, that's okay. So, so hold on. So I, again, we <laughs> haven't really hung out outside no. of you doing like, you know, coming to uh, me, coming to visit you at the store. So are you, you're not coming. from here. I, okay. So a little bit, uh, I've lived here for 30, 30 years. I'm 31. Okay. Uh, I've lived a year in Seattle. You don't look at. Yeah, mm-hmm. no, I have a baby face. That's why I bury it under a beard. It helps a little bit. Yeah, him too. And I got carded on my thirty-first birthday. That's awesome. Yeah, that's, that's, that's a good, come like, on, that's an ego boost. That's a yeah, that's a feel-good until moment. I go to Illinois and then they're like, "Yeah, sure, whatever." <laughs> yeah, I know. It's right, like, it don't matter. What are you sixteen? Uh, Who could right here? Yeah, this is Seattle. A fucking everybody light. has beards. Who gives a shit? Right. So they carded everybody. Right. Um, even the women. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> So that rocks, dude. Uh, it's equality. Yeah, I was born in Iowa, and then my mom moved from Iowa to here because my grandparents lived here. And uh, yeah, I've been in the desert the whole fucking time after that. Okay. So, so, but you had family, from what I remember, you had family in the Midwest. Yeah, in Illinois. Yeah. What part? Uh, so Iowa, Illinois border by the Quad Cities. Okay. Um, both families are ginormous. Uh, the Lynch side, which is my mom's maiden name, uh, they uh, they had a shit ton of land in Iowa, um, north of the Quad Cities. And then the Bailey side of my family, which is my father's side, uh, he, uh, they're, I'm one of 46 grandkids. Oh, my God. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. And there's six aunts and uncles, including wow. my dad. Wow. So they got, I, when I went to visit, when I got introduced to the family because I'd until 25, I'd never known my biological. Mm-hmm. Uh, when I went back to visit two years ago, mm-hmm. <laughs> uh, they're like, okay, so this, 
this is your cousin, this is your cousin, this is your second cousin. And I'm just like, holy shit, how it's many like that, people? Uh, it's like that scene in Spongebob where like Plankton meets all of his cousins. <laughs> yeah. you know? Billy, 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 Billy. And everybody's birthday is in August and September. Damn. So you, and I'm just like, y'all need better like fam- activities the fam- during the winter. The family like, just has wow, activity. So you got to hope you're like really far away from most of your family because like yeah. fucking getting gifts for birthdays has to be hell, dude. Yeah. Like breaking the bank holiday style. Uh, you know, to be honest, I mean, I they don't really like cookies, splurge but. or anything like that. Like, uh, they've tried to do like some making up and stuff for lost time. Like, sure. that's cool. Yeah. Like, I, they ask me like, "What do you want for Christmas?" And I'm like, "I'm 30 years old. Pay my bills." Yeah, do you know? But that's <laughs> honestly, up, dude, dude. Seriously, but you know, my buy me car fucking, parts. My parents fucking hate that, and I tell them it every year. So what they started to do is, ever since my 23rd birthday, they give me a. Two hundred dollar gift card to Guitar Center, yeah, because they say they want me to spend it on something I'm going to use. Yeah, in, in the same vein though, do you guys remember the first like, I mean, the like the first Cash holiday or whatever birthday where card you where, got? <laughs> uh, yeah, any holiday where it was just like all money. You're not getting frivolous shit. This is this is now things you need. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> this, yeah. Is, um, this is like actually. I think I, that stopped when I was like ten. So, so that's a bummer. So I have well, no, and I say that because well, my my. My presence, because I'm I was a huge gamer and stuff. Like right. the Xbox came out when I was eleven, right? right. So like at that point, that's I was all you in wanted. The consoles and games. That shit got expensive really quick. So like, if it made my grandma buy me a Game Boy or whatever, and then mom and dad bought me a couple games. Oh, easy, cool. yeah, yeah. E- yeah. That, I'm not looking for a lot, you know. Really, it's money. So I'm not gonna. Throw so kind of same. I stopped getting consoles probably around ten, eleven. Um, cause like you said, they just started getting expensive. Um, there was a period in my life where like, I would tell my, my family, like I wanted magic cards, but the hardest thing with that is that, you know, and as you know, it's yeah. like, they don't know what to get you. So it's like, I would get oh, yeah. starter decks. I would get miscellaneous pack. I can't say I want a play set of this and this and this. Well, so uh, we'll tie this into a little bit more of my backstory, right? So I got introduced to magic when I was seven by my uncle. So it was really easy for my parents to be like, all right, you dickhead got this kid into this stupid fucking card game <laughs> right. like uh what do we get him and he just tell him okay buy these booster packs right like the kid's seven eight you know he doesn't care mm-hmm. and uh it's not like i played type two which is standard now right um or anything at that point it was just like ooh, look red green cards right exactly <laughs> yeah <laughs> so and Me. Yeah, yeah <laughs> like, it, it, you know, at that age, that's fine. Like, I wasn't a heavy collector, and it was birthday money and Christmas money that got spent towards magic. Yeah, and so, so at one point, you know, like, like you were talking about the Christmas thing, when it, like Robert said, when it came to, like, responsible stuff, I, like, last year. And you know what's weird is that, like, it sounds funny because you're like, I'm growing up, I need responsible stuff, but I don't want it. My mom got me a cast iron skillet for Christmas. Oh, dude. That was the sickest shit dude, I've ever got in my life. Shit? Kitchen yeah. or camping stuff? Yeah, my like, grandma got me an air fryer. Yeah. Well, oh, dude. So, like, bringing that up, I have, like, an actual specific uh, year that I remember where, because, <laughs> like, my sister is so close in age to me, but she's still my younger sister. She's 23? She, well, she's 24 Probably now. whatever he is minus nine months. She Yeah, she's 24 <laughs> now, so. Um, but, like, I remember, I, I don't know how old I was, probably 18 or 19, and, like, my sister got a whole bunch of fucking cool ass shit for Christmas. Like, yeah. tight shit, dude. It was It was awesome. She had a killer Christmas, and, like, I had a good Christmas too, but like, she got a bunch of fun ass shit, and I got like, here's some socks, you know, stuff for my car, and yeah, like some <laughs> pants, and like uh, my bills paid for the. Oh, fucking there's month. a joke going on in our entire like friend group that there's definitely an abundant clearance of who's Robert's parents' favorite. Oh, Absolute, oh yeah, absolutely. Dude, it's my sister I mean, by yeah. a mile, but absolutely, dude. my parents, my parents have a favorite too, and it's not me. Well, I firmly believe in like <laughs> the really. that the oldest is the practice kid. And yeah, I, yeah, hold exactly. On. Hold on, that's the exact opposite, and I think it's because I have the exact opposite of you. Is where my second oldest sibling is sixteen, so there's a, almost a ten year gap. Um, so now that I'm old, I know my my mom's favorite because. She can come to me like an adult and like mm-hmm. talk to me about shit like that, and she can vent and, and bounce ideas off of me. And I told her I was like, "Hey, look, Emily and Aiden are nowhere to be found. Just tell me, because I want to know. And don't give me the whole I love all my children the same." And she goes, "Okay, maybe <laughs> like you a little bit." And I was like, "Hey, Emily and Aiden, come here." <laughs> so, and she was uh, like, "I know. Come on, dude. Like, uh, uh, dude, my parents would about, never oh. admit it, but my sister is for oh, sure the favorite." So, yeah. like, my stepdad, my mom—that's my brother, 
that so uh, I was like your stepdad's your brother. No, my step <laughs> <laughs> close. Hell yeah. Uh, ding, no. ding, 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 ding. <laughs> uh, my mom met my dad, quote unquote. Sure, sure. because uh, I've known him since I was like two. Oh man, I get it. So and uh my brother is now twenty one mm-hmm. and uh he's six seven and he's ginormous. Oh wow. So I have a big little brother. Right. And uh, our tall little brother, which right. is hilarious because they see us side by side and they're just like, what the fuck happened? Is he <laughs> like, like way different. bigger than you? No, he's tall. Yeah. He's he's six, seven. Oh, geez. I, I'm like barely six, one on a good day. Yeah, like, me too. So, yeah, okay, five, <laughs> yeah, four, right. calm like, down. Fucking... <laughs> Robert had to get a stool to fucking sit on this chair yeah. to get up here, dude. Yeah, let me go grab a phone book or two. Uh... <laughs> he gets it. So, uh, so... And then my biological dad and his wife, my stepmom, they have an 11-year-old. Oh, oh, wow. Yeah, you were talking about an age gap? Right. Bro. Yeah. I'm 10 years older than my brother. Right. I'm 20, 20 years. Yeah. yeah, so it's just like... <laughs> right. So so you so you have no biological siblings? Uh, shared parents, no. Yeah, me neither. So, um, but I've got uh, five. I've got five siblings, just none of them... I, I used to make the joke when I was doing comedy. Uh, I used to make this joke where it's like they I just came out and they saw me with my big ass fucking nose mm-hmm. and, and just, like my fucking full head of Eskimo hair. And they were just like, yeah, we're done. Right. Like, fuck this kid, you know. Uh, <laughs> but I always wished like I always wish I had like a like I don't know why. Like I had this weird thing when I was a kid. I wish I was like a twin, you know. But then like we grew up with twins and it's just like that looks fucking horrible because they're two different people <laughs> and like hanging out with them and together people fucking, forced uh, they them were, to look the same they weren't identical though oh, they, were, yeah, they, were they, were, they were not identical twins no they and they like grew up to be entirely Completely different people different people like i think that's just what happens fucking when you're, day when you're unless you're like the sklar brothers like you're literally just meant to just in be the complete, beginning when they were kids the property brothers were they forced to wear clothes so that were similar he knew them longer than i did he knew them in elementary school so okay. i mean they never dressed the same or anything did they well i mean when we had uniforms yeah but that was everybody <laughs> yeah <laughs> everybody was forced <laughs> right. okay All but right. i mean they they were really good friends in elementary school and then as we hit high school they branched off into different friend groups sure. didn't really hang out and now, you know, one of them's in like fucking North Carolina. The other one's still here. Yeah. Yeah. So, and you're from the West Valley, right? I'm from, so it's kind of like you. Because then you say like you're like Agua Fria or something. So, so kind of just like you, like I've, I'm, I'm 26 and I've, am I 26 or 27? Oh God. Dude, know your own age. 26, Come on. 26. Cause I was born in 94. So it's 26. Um, I, but I've lived here like 24 years. So okay. I was born in Simi Valley, California. Um, where Richard Ramirez, the Night Stalker, was most popular. And fun fact. And then I moved to Ohio for like three months when I was a baby, and then I came here. Um, but I've mostly been like from the Surprise El Mirage area. Oh, okay. My dad. You're m- from up where yeah. I grew up. Okay. Right. But my dad had this thing. My mom's been in the same house since I was a kid. My dad's moved around all over the valley. So like at one point when I was in like the eighth grade, I lived right next to Player Draw. Uh, like okay. in Avondale, and then we moved. Then he moved to Paradise Valley, and then and then eventually he moved to Utah. But um, I've spent most of my life in the West Valley. Okay, so you, yeah, player draw would have been a year before you. Well, like I never got to experience. Like uh, honestly, like I mean, surprise is just farm country. You know what I mean? It's just so it's really boring. It over used there to and, be. I'm sorry. What? It well, used yeah. to be. Well, I know you're. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> I'm like, like I graduated at Willow Canyon. No, the fuck. It oh wasn't. yeah, I forgot about that too. <laughs> what do you mean? You're by the 303. It's nothing but fucking desert. Yeah, and it fucking used to be orange fields. Yeah, it used to be nothing. Now it's like actually, there's a lot of fucking houses out there because yeah. I I do all the plumbing out there, man, and it's fucking. Right. Yeah. And I lived in El Mirage. So you guys many remember Californians coming out here, dude. These I goddamn cows. So, uh, <laughs> I hate that thought so much. <laughs> I hate that thought. So we're going to get opinionated. Mm. Uh, <laughs> Hold on. Before you get opinionated, you want to hear something? No. All right. Hell yeah. <laughs> Let's get into it. Come on, Robert. My company signed a, a contract with a certain, or it wasn't my company, but like a, a builder we're working for mm-hmm. signed, signed 22 houses at, in like one day. All of those buyers, California buyers. Oh, well, in the same in the same fucking track. So dude. this happened the last time, last two times the housing markets, you know, bounced and went up. Uh, so in like two thousand, what was happening was the houses in California were hitting like two fifty, three hundred thousand. So people were selling their houses yeah. there. 
for quarter million, half million dollars. Yeah. Coming here and buying five fucking houses at once, <laughs> living in one, and then renting out the other four, or selling the other four and flipping it. Right. And then 2008 happened, and the market crashed. Or 2007. Right. And... uh, You were about to graduate high school at that time, right? Yeah, that sucked. Yeah. Like, that was bad. It's like, okay, so new president, and the market crashed. Nobody has jobs, and uh, nobody's hiring. Uh, so... You either join the military or you hope mom and dad save some money for you to go to college because yeah, you can't pay for it. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I didn't even have a car. Like, my parents barely had paid for their second car. Like, my parents were dirt poor when they met each other. Mm -hmm. So, like, they busted their ass to get where they were. So, you're a very kind of, like, self-made person. They were. Yeah. I, I always told my friends, like, they would, you know, it's like, why don't your parents just buy you the game? And it's like, right. dude, dude, they make money. I'm a high school student. I don't have money. <laughs> yeah, uh, it's kind of kind of same, but but in more my whole thing was like in the aspect of like my parents were just very you have to earn what you yeah and you know? mine so were very much that like way. Like my parents, um, they didn't make me. It was a whole. I sucked at school, uh, and all, I didn't. All, oh yeah, see, all they said was just do good in school, and we'll help you get a car. But all I cared about was like my band and girls and weed. So uh, I see, I was. That. I was playing video games. I was playing Halo competitively. Oh, so you're, a, you're a good boy. Yeah. Well, and I did so good in school. Like, my dad was like, I could literally just ask not to go to school one day. Dude, I almost... And he's just like, do you have a project? No. Do you oh. have a test? No. Okay, cool. Pick your brother up. Nice. It's like... <laughs> yeah, this uh, fucking guy. Yeah, okay. I, saying, I almost dropped out of high school over a shitty game, actually. Oh, I mean, I almost failed. I failed my first semester of senior year. I want to hear about this. of Halo 3. I was about oh, to I was about to drop out of high school because I uh, couldn't stop playing Skyrim. I was a <laughs> I was a junior and I would come home from school. I had a I had a ten or eleven percent in geometry, so I was a sophomore. Actually, I was prepared to drop out of school as a sophomore. And I would just come home from school, play nothing but Skyrim for like fucking eight hours straight. And yeah. my mom came home one day and she was like, "What?" The fuck? Like, <laughs> so, like, I know what your grades are, motherfucker. You're not doing anything. Similarly, Stop playing video games. I, I was just able to do like all my homework in class. Yeah. Oh, I was and able to do it. it I just, I just did it. Didn't. And then by the time I get home at like three twenty-five, because I was a rock's throw from the high school, right? I turn my Xbox on and right. play Halo. Well, you went to public school just like we did, so I want to make it very clear. Like looking back at how we lived our lives back then, you were literally what the ideal situation was is that the public schools are shitty and yeah, you definitely had we definitely had enough time to finish that shit before the fucking bell rang before we got home yeah we just fucking i didn't. was in school to socialize yeah, strictly same. that was and it. Then, like i like, said i just did it to get it done with i hated high school and i appreciate I was so that. over it. i got my first f in fourth grade and once i found out it wasn't gonna kill me dude i had started yeah i, so mean, I started that's just about lying. disregarding everything <laughs> that's <laughs> what i did too but <laughs> i was how so, lying progresses also a little bit of the mentality. My dad had handed me a Navy pamphlet for the nuclear power program. And I had shifted my entire high school, like, acumen to get into that nuclear program. So I was, like, trying was to he make... military? No. Oh. Neither one of my parents are. He just knew you were smart. He, yeah, he's like, look, uh, well, it, it was, like, end of sophomore year. That was when the market began to crash. Yeah. Like, it hadn't crashed yet. It was dropping beginning of junior year he's like okay look like shit's gonna get really bad and it's not gonna be good for a while you need to figure your shit out and he's like this is a pretty decent route for you to go let's get you started so i started like losing weight and shit i focused on doing my classes if all my stuff was done they didn't give a shit i stayed up till three o'clock the morning playing halo 3 halo 2 on xbox live and i was playing competitively i was playing on mlg before it was cool can i ask a question yeah why halo why yeah because i was really fucking good at it and that game is so fucking based as an original esport dude yeah i respect halo players so I much god damn the, 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 the OG, back when yeah. broadband was shit yeah and you actually had to like and it wasn't running gun that was the other thing. You actually had to aim at the person to kill him. Yeah. Like, I was always so FPS. bad at those games, so I just never As played As opposed them. to what games? COD. COD blows. Yeah. COD sucks dick. Yeah. Like, across the board? Yeah. 
Just straight across. I'm not arguing. I was no. just wondering what you were like. I warned comparing. him about your fucking yeah, yeah, opinion. Yeah, yeah. So no, I was no. like, oh, uh, shit. Yeah. Here no, we I'm go. very cemented in the fact no, that. So, uh, like, recent, I'm a very recent FPS, like, okay. love well, FPS. Well, tell, 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 him, tell him about your, your affinity for, like, like uh, boomer shooters. Yeah, it's classic FPS games. So I've. I've you're talking Quake 3. You're talking, yeah. Right. Have you ever heard of Dusk? I just played no. through. Dusk is an old, it's a. It's not an old game. It's. It was made in like 2018, but they made it like a. Look like an old game from like 1998. Like they made it look like stuff. a 90s shooter, yeah, okay. like fucking Quake, but yeah. they did it in Unity and it's such a fucking good game. Well, I mean, that's how the like old the, Unreal games used to be. Like, like I, I'm a huge FPS, because like Doom Eternal, dude. Doom Eternal came out and like yeah. I fucking... Oh, this is my oh, boy. Right here. Ham. Hooked me for fucking two years yeah. straight. I, what is it? Hellish mode, I think. Uh, Ultra Nightmare. Ultra Nightmare. I didn't do Ultra. I could. I, so I, there's. So, so there's, I beat hold on. Nightmare. I haven't done Ultra Nightmare. Yeah. So hold yeah. on. So, but isn't I thought it was Hurt Me Plenty. Yeah. Hellish, Nightmare, Ultra Nightmare. Yeah. So what is no. the the difficulty orders for Doom are I'm too young to die. Yeah. Hurt Me Plenty, Ultra Violence, Nightmare, Ultra Nightmare. Okay, so yeah. I'm on Nightmare. I never wanted to touch Ultra Nightmare. I've played. Because I can Some do Ultra Halo Nightmare. on Legendary and be fine. And Ultra Nightmare is one and done, right? You die, start at the beginning. Yeah, so I can make it through the first three missions, and then I get smoked. Yeah, I don't know how streamers do it. Oh. They did, make it look easy. With that, with that kind of stuff, I've never delved too far into video games where... And, and, and let me just say, like, I don't find this as, like, a you're a fucking nerd or something like that, but it's just, sure. like, I've never put so much effort into that. Yeah. I admire, I mean, I watched it with him. We watched a guy uh, speed run fucking Ultra Nightmare in, what, two two hours? Yeah. yeah. You know? So yeah. it's like, I look at that. I think my biggest accomplishment was I did, um, I don't even remember the, the difficulty, but it was on Dead Space 2, and it was the hardest difficulty. And the thing with that was that you only got uh, two. So, so back in the day of Xbox 360, some games came with two discs. So, like, do, Dead Space 2 had two discs. So, you, you're you pretty much essentially halfway through the game, and it says, please insert disc 2. Oh, okay. Yeah. So, per... I knew that was, like, a PS1 thing. Yeah. I never actually knew 360 games. I'm glad you said that, because I was, like, in my head, I was, like, what is this, fucking 18th century? Like... Because wasn't, was like, like, Final so Fantasy seven or whatever. Seven had, like, seven three had or four discs. discs. Yeah. yeah. So, I don't know if it was just, quote, unquote, uh, ahead and of I'm its sure time. someone's going to leave a comment and be, like, there is only three discs, and the fourth one was You know what's funny? Credit. Is I know exactly who would leave that comment, but I'm not going to put his name in here say it say it, say it say it say it say uh, it but uh, <laughs> but i uh so the whole difficulty was that you got two say have you ever played dead space no okay well you I've get watched it but well, like, you know there's the save stations you get yeah. two save stations per um disc okay and i did that um that was probably like my my pinnacle of like so like when i see people like robert like i i, I, I robert's like my boyfriend like i literally made him come over here and beat the parts of doom that were hard for me because it's fucking hard Oh. Like and I um, literally dumped that's o- what over you mean. a year okay. and a half. Right. Well, no. First of all, Robert's my boyfriend. There's, there's yeah, no. no. I I regularly eat. I get it. He's your heterosexual life mate. Oh no, I fucked this dude. No, yeah. <laughs> <I'm just kidding. laughs> okay. Like, well, no, yeah. you know what my most recent uh, gaming achievement was that really got me fucking. What's up? Like it, it wasn't even that great, but it was one of my childhood favorites that recently got remastered and put on the PlayStation Four. What's that? I platinumed SpongeBob Battle for Bikini Bottom. Oh my god! I I, I, I got that game remastered, and I spent like three days just a hundred percent in that game. And I got the platinum trophy, and I was like, "Nice!" And then I deleted it off my hard drive. <laughs> <laughs> That's all I needed right there. I uh, I did. Let's see, uh, Halo Three. I had gotten all first a thousand achievement points within seven days. Wow. God yeah. damn. Yeah. And that was, I mean, that was when the Have game. Have you swept Legendary in every Halo game? Yeah. Wow. I've gotten what about Lasso in the last ones. Yeah. Lasso. Jesus. Legendary all schools on. Yeah. That's insane. Yeah. It's not hard. You should oh, leave, man. See, Fuck see, like, you. It's see, just like, not. Like that, Halo, okay, but I can see, take like, cover See, like, that stuff. mentality, like, it's just not that hard. I just have to disagree. No, my friends literally paid me to, like, carry them. Right. Like, it's yeah, not no. hard for me. I get it's hard for other people. I, I I understand that, and it's not really me trying to flex. It's just it's not difficult for me. So, but that but that was the game. So you know, not even looking at campaign, we look at Halo Four. It's like you were the guy that had all like the fucking crazy armors and shit too yeah. from a cheap. Yeah, yeah, that's nuts. Yeah, so I, really I mean, I've gotten your... on Master Chief Collection on PC. Uh, I've unlocked. Well, I mean, but, it's not hard on PC because they make all the battle passes so, so, available. So not mm. because let let's throw because I was good at it out of the window. I mean, you had to fall in love with like the lore. Yeah. And oh so, yeah. So I you, read so every the, book, book as reader. they came out. Okay. Yeah. yeah. No, I got really nerdy into well, it. Well, now we have to ask. So we're gonna ask everyone. I stopped all around. reading after uh, Onyx. 
That was the last that Halo was book I read. One of the last good ones. I'll give you that. Yeah. Like that was that was like I pinnacle read, Halo time. I read from Reach up until Onyx and I was <laughs> like, damn, these books fucking right. Yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah. I definitely read the magic books before I played magic. Yep. Well, I read them during because they came um, in the fat packs. So that yeah. So I remember that. So my uncle bought a World Wake fat pack. Uh, and it came with the book, and he, he was just like, here, here's a fucking yeah. book. I'm like, yeah, yeah, awesome. And then you start reading them and going backwards, and you're like, what the fuck? Yeah, well, no, and then I was going to say, last year, uh, they had a new author make, um, it was after um, Hour of Devastation, not Hour of, De- uh, uh, no, War of the Spark. It was after War of the Spark, they had a new book that came yeah. out. And Hour it, of Masturbation. And it tanked so it tanked. hard. And I was like, well, that was the whole thing. So this is actually something that I really want to talk about, and Robert, I love talking about it with him, and I want to know your opinion. Oh, boy. So, first of all, love who you love. You know what I mean? If you're gay, oh, okay. Straight, Is that what we're talking bi, about? That's yeah, what we're yeah, talking yeah. about. Yeah, unless you're different colors. Right? <laughs> oh, <no. laughs> because I'm a stud. <laughs> so, fuck. So, 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 but no. The, so the, My so girlfriend's half Puerto Rican. People are going to start, right. start thinking I'm serious. That's the uh, second dude, one I, I made know, in two dude, episodes. No, he is on fire. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> so people are going to start thinking he's going to fucking uh, write People my, are probably going to light him on fire. Right. My, yeah. yeah. <laughs> so, no. My whole thing. So, it came from... Um, you know, and, and I don't know how you feel about this, but I got, I've always been into Blizzard games. Okay. I love, yeah. I love anything that Blizzard makes. I'm a huge slut for I, fucking Blizzard. Oh yeah, you get as it. As I show my wow yeah. tattoo. I actually, face, uh, dude, I like that. <laughs> because I was a fuck boy, I got this stupid fucking sailor tattoo. That tattoo um, does suck. But yeah, it does. But before I did that, I almost on the same arm got a, a horde tattoo because that's what a uh, corpse grinder from Cannibal Corpse yeah. has. Yeah. And, um. But anyways, so who happens to also have an NPC named after him in the game? Yeah, is it? It's yeah. also a crane machine master. I remember yeah. that. Um, so uh, I got really into Overwatch, like obsessively. Okay, I, play, yeah. I, played, uh, so, I did when it came out. So I remember being a part of like the like you know like on Reddit and stuff like that, the forums and and, and all this shit. And then so oh, you got into shipping, didn't you? No. So oh, okay. so kind of the exact <laughs> opposite is I would bully those fucking people. Oh, because hell it yes, matter dude. to me. So. So this is where I'm. What I'm getting bullying to. rocks. Uh, in 2018, the, the, you know, they started getting really into like their comic book series, and they confirmed Tracer was gay. Zarya is a lesbian. Sure. Uh, uh, Symmetra has autism. <laughs> yeah. Stuff. I'm not joking. Like you know, stuff like this. <laughs> She's on the spectrum. Right. And uh, okay, so I'm like, okay, whatever. And then you know, we go into Apex. Bloodhound is confirmed non-binary. Gibraltar is gay. I get. I get that it's nice to feel supported, included, included in a game, but then people started making it all about that. Yeah, I agree. And I, I and, I, and, and I was just like, what the fuck does it matter? Like, yeah. I, I recently didn't had a conversation with Aaron about this, actually. On the podcast, Aaron? Yeah, Hale. Yeah, yeah. I had a, con- a conversation with Aaron Hale about this. We, I mean, we had a, we covered a broad spectrum of things in this conversation, <laughs> but that was one of the subjects. Um. And it's really just like he he boiled it down to it's just because literally it's because we're fucking white, which yeah. is like right. We, it's, we've it's never needed our it, dude. white right. privilege to not it's, have to think about it. Which it's to never some been extent. a thing where I've I've enjoyed a character because they're white, like because it's never been a point of contention. Well, for and me. we're all cis male. Uh, yeah, no, well, yeah, and, you know, and then this is something that Allie and I talk about, and, you know, and and this is I I love her so much and. We had a situation because I sat I sat her down and I was like, look, I need to know exactly what I'm maybe not necessarily doing wrong, but what am I avoiding subconsciously? Right. Like, what, what are am you I not objectively yeah, like? Yeah. What are you not? And and she sat me down and she told at. me and, and, and yes, you're absolutely right. And, and, you know, personally, I never felt like I needed to know. Like, I like this character. I love Jack from Jack and Daxter because he's a fucking white dude. Right, but no. I will say that I understand that a lot of normally a lot of heroes and characters from games that we all grew up shows we we all grew up watching were just white. So or 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 it was under the assumption, you know what I mean? Like 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 I don't know. Sergeant th- Johnson's pretty badass, and he's a black dude. That's what, okay. Uh, yeah, so that's and the point I think I'm getting. What, to. what doesn't and help that, that situation like, either is that it the wasn't most- forced to make a strong secondary character like that. Like Johnson's a badass, right? And like that uncontested in like halo like on reddit on twitter whatever like johnson's a badass everybody agrees (laughs) nobody is arguing that Mm -hmm. this guy literally survived the flood the first covenant interaction as a non-spartan he's as a a not well actually oh boy actually (laughs) uh let me raise my glasses uh he was actually part of the spartan one program 
Okay. So he was actually, he was in the precursor program. Mm. So he is actually a Spartan, but you don't know that in the games. And that's... Well, fucking spoiler alert, man. Uh, yeah, so. tangently, like, that's something I really wish right. the video game companies would expand on, is that expanded lore. Look, I... I guess I get it. Like that that's yeah. fine. Ha- but like my whole thing is that when when people push you Oh so, yeah. yeah like no, I agree. The pushing and especially the last like 3 years is has gotten to that. really really be more of a nuisance rather than a gl- a good thing. Right. It's not raising awareness anymore. It's just like it's just you fucking get it. Dude. It's not I wouldn't say annoying. It's more just like instead of devoting that energy to explain that can we get like the games improved like yeah. actually but, structurally from like everybody likes lore about game yeah, yeah a game of course. somewhere give, give me it like yeah but or they want to know more like that's fine but when it's it feels kind of like it, it's a social justice crusade it's all it is i was gonna say something else at first but now i feel like uh like it's Part of me really feels like, and this may just be like white privilege talking again, but like race or fucking upbringing or whatever that shit. If it's in a fictional setting, it doesn't really matter. Give yeah. me the give me the characters' feats. Like I'll I'll idolize a character, black or white, whatever. If they do cool ass shit. So yeah. and it's uh, well, like I said, probably still fucking it, white privilege. And this, but well, no, and it, it also doesn't help that there's like half as many badass colored people characters as there are white right, characters. Right, and that will people always forever and all, yeah, 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 there you go. Yeah, Thank yeah. you. Sorry, <laughs> yeah, I was tripping over my own. No, nope, you're canceled. This fucking podcast is done. Colored. <laughs> <fucking people. laughs> These coloreds, no. Wow. <laughs> no. <laughs> like, no. so it's easier to just lump them in with just cool characters and yeah. then uh, just think like, oh, you should feel represented because I also like and, these characters. And at one point, does but, it like, become that's not too for much? Us to say. Right. Like, it, it, eventually it's going to come to a point where the thing isn't like okay we we're inclusive we've gotten someone's going to be violently aggressive about not being included right that it's going to get to the point where 95% of peoples mm-hmm. are included Regardless in something of color, gender, and now that 5% yeah. is the is minimalized and they're going to be aggressive about well it. we've already hit the point where the need for inclusion overshadows like artistic integrity oh yeah like, i agree it's definitely finally teetered over I, yeah. we're not at the bottom yet. And that's what right. I'm saying. Like, right. when well, is it going to be that point? And, and there's just things that, like, I mean, again, and we can always sum everything that we're about to say up as maybe it's just the privilege that we have. But sure. it's a, like good a big caveat. example is a, is a mutual friend of me and Robert's is that when Street Fighter uh, two, uh, Super Street Fighter 2 Turbo was announced to be on the Nintendo Switch, they added a character called Violent Ken. <laughs> I forgot about this. Yes, <laughs> and, and Violent Ken is essentially like the doppelganger of Evil Ryu. Okay. okay. Violent Ken just has a tan and white hair. It's okay? it's Ken with like a different colored eyes, white hair, and he's tan. Right. And there was a whole thing about we need to stop. What was it? We need to stop. Making, we need to stop making evil characters a darker skin tone. And and, and it's because, just, yeah, yeah. <laughs> because they were like it's I, implying I that it's it's just implying that like anybody with any sort of melanin is just a bad guy, <laughs> and it's like. No, like that's it's not even the close, opposite. man. It's First of all, it's a fucking cartoon. It's like, like a picture. The o- opposite of a picture is it's negative. It's the re- like if you look at the negatives of a photo, it's a darker version of what. And the it's photo is. literally what uh, what violent Ken is is just a negative of Ken. Yeah, like, like that's the and I'm sure that's, that's the same what the thing with Evil Ryu intended. I think people are picking and it apart. Evil to find Ryu has been it. tan since fucking. Uh, since Street Fighter Alpha in the fucking 90s. Nobody's made a fuss about that. Yeah. Ever. Well, that goes back to like, um, you know, I always like to make a reference to, the, I, I love Always Sunny in Philadelphia. It's my favorite show of all time. Uh-huh. And there's an episode in one of the newer seasons where they are um, selected to pretty much test view <laughs> of, of uh, a movie that they love, of the Thunder Gun mm-hmm. Um, mm-hmm. Jo- uh, um, saga. Franchise. Yeah. And so when she asks them, like, so what did you think about the movie? Uh, Frank, who is just the most fucking z- worst person on the planet, racist, homophobic guy on the planet, he goes, uh, he goes, I can't tell who the bad guy is. You, us three, will know that the that the villain is the evil colonel who is looking for John Thundergun. 
But Frank makes the uh, the ob- observation that well, you Frank know, usually rationalizes the villains' right, actions. Right. And he says, "When back when I was a kid, the villains either wore all black or were black. <laughs> like that's how you knew they were the bad guys. <laughs> or like uh, you know, like like they mentioned like a Die Hard. Like I knew the villain in Die Hard because he was European and foreign, and we don't like foreigners. <laughs> like you know, times have just changed in a situation where I'm not picking a fucking guy because of that yeah. to be the bad guy." <laughs> Yeah, like you know, and I—it's just hard to to as a, as anyone. It's just, it's just hard to be like, look, I don't think that has anything to do with it. You're gonna wake up with ninety five yeah. messages, forty five responses to your tweets, dude. I've been, are you I've ready to go viral? Of, yeah, <laughs> I've been kicked out of multiple Facebook groups for this exact thing, like. <laughs> be- <laughs> Like, like being like, why can't we just post about what the group is about, right? Like instead of making this a like racial or sexual inclusion. <laughs> Sir, thing. this is an automobile sale Dude, group. Dude, I got I've been kicked out of a Twin Peaks group and I've been kicked out of a Homestar Runner group for this exact thing. Because they just started it, it wasn't Homestar Runner content anymore. It was just trans rights all over the place. And I was like, hey man, it'd be cool if we could get back to fucking you know, Homestar Runner content. The and reason you I joined got the group ridiculed for trying to minimize it. So I got a ton of comments, and I didn't even get to read them because I got booted out of the group just as fast. Oh wow! Uh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> like but, and, you know, immediately in a, in a in a in a universe where you and I understand, um, um, Kaldheim comes out, or is, or is it Zendikar? Uh, are you talking about the non-binary character? Yeah, Nico you know I mean? is Kaldheim. Yeah, because Kaldheim. So it's like I didn't not say anything. Yeah, but because I didn't say anything, and because I'm not stoked about it, I don't care. Yeah, I, don't I care. accepted it. It's whatever. Yeah, cool, man. That's yeah. great. I'm glad that it's just a new impa- release. It doesn't right. impact my life in a negative nor a positive. But way. because you didn't say anything. Yeah, and you know what? And I lived in Seattle. I lived in the heart of it. Like people say, San Francisco. No, Seattle totally is. But you were. So but quick question. Yeah. When did you live in Seattle? Uh, 2018 to 2019. Oh wow! Okay, I was gonna ask you how it was. I thought I thought you were there in twenty twenty. I was gonna ask. Oh you no! But, but then I, I mean, remember. I have, but then I remembered. I, I was have friends who live in Cap Hill, that mm-hmm. which was part of that. Yeah. yeah. So, uh, they were walking down to the demilitarized zone. I don't remember. That what shit's it, crazy. Did you watch the All Gas Chaz. No Breaks? They where, called it Chaz. Where he was in uh, uh was it Minneapolis during the riots? Oh, like where the, they're that, tearing that, like. That impromptu city down. state that they popped up in the yeah. middle of nowhere. Well, that well, was no. that was Seattle. He was in like the I thought t- that was Oregon. No, no. I thought that was that the was Midwest. Seattle. That oh. was Capitol Hill Autonomous Zone. Chaz, mm. oh. that's ridiculous. Yeah. Yeah, <laughs> well, and you know what's funny is it's not even like they so businesses still operated, they still collected taxes, they still paid their taxes. Firemen and first rescue, sure, like yeah, for, yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, paramedics were still allowed in. And it, they weren't trashing the place. There were aid stations. There were water stations. There were people setting up projectors and showing movies and videos of, like, I, I, it doesn't interest me, but the media glorified the actions of, like, the actual riots themselves instead of the positive stuff that was occurring in it and not at the edges of it. And the stuff in it at the park was... It was, yeah, it was like a park movie. They were, like, isolating the events to, like, what preceded what's actually happening. Yeah, and honestly, the worst part of Seattle, like, the worst, worst stuff happened that first day. And that was when you saw the picture of, like, the cop car on fire. Yeah. And and Based. you actually, what was it, like, the antagonists and stuff? Like, Don't that. get me wrong. I fucking hate the police. But, I mean, <laughs> hell yeah. Just, Basement like, Dweller says, fuck yeah. cops. Oh, no, absolutely. Yeah. Fuck 12. But, I, I mean, also, at the same time, that shit was fucking cops nuts. Cops are fucking gay. <laughs> if you are they a, get trained to suck penises. Uh, you're, I agree to an extent. I think it's a necessary evil, but I think the evil should be monitored. All right, right. current cops are fucking gay. <laughs> <laughs> addendum, I'm going to edit this. Please be warned that we have an addendum coming up on the podcast. <laughs> then Robert's going to start with the cops are fucking I gay. I mean, <laughs> I see the, I see, I, I'm good at seeing the trends, and or not trends, patterns, yeah. right? Like, it's obvious that it's a, a systemic issue across the board. Yeah. It's not isolated to one area. It's in every department everywhere. It's right. not just a one case of. Yeah, fucking arrest the parks department. <laughs> <laughs> Goddamn park rangers. They're oh fucking up everything. Motherfucking uh, uh, 
Uh, Someone uh, who watches GP or GTA RP is going to be like, yeah, fuck Ziggy. Yeah, Handcuffed no, community <laughs> watch, dude. Fuck those pigs. Oh, yeah, dude. For real. You know, what, you know what's crazy <laughs> is it took me 26 years to realize that it's not illegal to just yell something at a cop. No, no it's not. And, it uh, is your first literally, amendment, dude, right? dude, it was literally like it was a message from God himself. Like there was this cop that literally just like pulled over some kids for something. And I was just like on my way to that. We were like getting groceries in the house. And I looked over and I was like, good job, guys. You got them. <laughs> you got those kids. Yeah, and I just walked inside and I was like, yeah. I was like, well, I- dude, that's why I learned how to yell really loud with the tip of my penis. So yeah. it's not, it's not a decent exposure. Now does it I'm like flare up like the old like Looney Tune like trombone? Yeah, like, no, it looks like when Predator's screaming after he takes his oh. mask off. And it's got fucking, you know, like tendrils popping out. So... I- <laughs> is that like a bad like a face hugger? Or? No, that's uh, I was born with that. Go go gadget uh, penis. I just I was just born with a really cool penis. That's <laughs> <laughs> all right, all right. Well, this is where the podcast ends. Yeah, we're sure. good. Yeah, we're good. Thanks, Robert. Thanks. Steve. Um, so so are we talking about me? Or are we just bullshitting? You want to talk about you? I don't know. I want to. We talk went about down you. a really deep rabbit hole. No, we did. I mean, I it mean, was like video games, and then into like political. Yeah, I mean, we talk about whatever. So I mean, no, I, n- I know. Is there something you want to talk about? I don't know. You, you had questions. What do you want to bring to the table, man? Yeah, I mean, really. I mean, like, I, like you know, like the only reason. So I'm glad you asked. I harassed you to be on the show. You did, but but that's not bad. <laughs> um, no, I was really interested. Did you guys hear about the shooter and surprise yep. yesterday? Yep. I did. They caught him. Yeah, it was. Yeah. Yeah, they did. But there was like eight fucking shootings, man. It's kind of crazy. Like dead people? One dead person. Wow. Yeah. Eight injured. Yeah. Well, oh, he was like drive by, right? Yeah, there was a lot of drive bys. Some 19 year old kid, dude. I mean, <sighs> that goes back to my whole thing. The fact that this state, I mean, I guess if we're going to real quick stay political, the fact that this state yeah. is just like, yeah, man, fuck it, here's a gun. Like, it's just insane to me. Like, I I, I mean, it's... It's good and bad. Yeah, I think yeah. it's kind of based, but also there's problems with it. I mean, but that, it, it sounds like it's a problem that's never going to be fixed. Yeah. Because like, I'm a... I think I'm a pretty even-keeled person. I should definitely be able to walk into a gun shop and right. be able to purchase a weapon. Like I, I agree. And I understand it might need, like, a background check, but, like... I got a job at the post office. Like, How do you tell if somebody's even really killed, easy. though? Huh? How do you tell if somebody's even killed, though? Uh, I'm not saying I'm building the metric. I'm just no, saying No, I know. I'm just wondering, uh, like, what uh, you would think. I should be able to go in. and I, I mean, I don't get angry easily. Right. Like, that should be, like, a pretty, like, <laughs> hey, do you have anger issues? Is this yeah, a, not having a history of violence would help, like, yeah, straight off the yeah, bat. There's, a, like, there's this comedian that I love. His name is Dan Cummins, and he does this joke on stage where he's like, I think the, the first thing that... Uh, on a, on a piece of paper, when you it should be an application to own a gun, it's the first thing is, uh, question one, what are you going to do with this gun? And it's like, <laughs> question two, no, really. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, it'd be great if you used every gun you bought for hunting, but uh, believe it or not, you don't need a MK-62 to shoot a deer. Right. So, so I will ask this one thing just to kind of transition because we're pretty much at the halfway mark. Um, oh. So, you know, the next half is about your boy right here. Uh, okay. uh except for the end. But Yeah, it's about Cuz I want to talk about my Vegas trip. But yeah, your Vegas trip sucked. Oh, we'll it did. tie it in. It was so shitty. Jacob but, blew me off to go to Vegas. That's not true. It I is absolutely Jacob true. Jacob jacked you off and then went to Vegas. <laughs> Holy <laughs> shit. He blew uh, me off. He <laughs> used his lips. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Um, so, you know, uh, please, you know, if you don't want to disclose anything, definitely don't. Um, I, I, I always know where say, this is going. I, I always say, I know, <laughs> I, I always say that I'm not a, a subject podcast, but we always talk about cryptocurrency. Yeah. Here. All right. So, yep. so disclaimer, I'm not a financial advisor. Right. And that's do exactly not take, what Joe said. Yeah. Yep. I'm, I'm, do not take what I, yeah. Joe called me crazy for a long time. Just buy so. Ethereum. No, don't. Okay, (laughs) stop. It's his time. All right. (laughs) I'm not a financial advisor. Don't take anything I say or do as financial advice. All right, so here we go. (laughs) Bitcoin is at, you said, what, $11 at the time? One. One dollar at the time. Uno dollar. So you give me your situation. Okay. Uh, It's 2011. Uh, I'm going to school at DeVry for uh, information technologist and network communications and management. So I'm going into deep, dark, internet, nerdy shit. Like, I'm going to corporate corporate server banks. Like, that's, that's what I'm trying to do. So, like, I knew about Reddit early. I knew about 
four chan early, like before they got blown up. So it was like one day in class, I'm on like slash B or something like, and people are talking about crypto and Bitcoin and hey, this new blockchain, blah blah. And you know, it's like it's like ten cents, twelve cents, thirteen cents, fourteen cents. And I'm like, eh, okay, I get my check in from uh, Sally Mae, you know, using good old student loan money. Fuck yeah, I dude. just realized he he knows nothing about this. You're going to fucking love this. Oh, yeah, you're going to really like so, this. Yeah, All right, so uh, Sally Mae sent me a bunch of money when I was living outside of, well, I was living with my friend and his mom, Mama Sue. And, Shout out uh, Mama Sue? Yeah, well, yeah. Okay. Shout out to Mama <laughs> Sue. Uh, she, uh, anyway, uh, I'm farting around on the computer or whatever one day, and I'm, just, it hit a dollar. So I'm like, eh, fuck it. I'll throw 20 bucks at it. And, uh, yeah, I forgot about it till 2017. Well, that's not true. All right. Yeah, no, hold on. Yeah. Yeah. So, like, there was, like, an internet flash sale site. So I'd, like, bought $20 of Bitcoin when it was a dollar. Cool. Whatever. In the early days of the internet, there wasn't a lot of places you could spend Bitcoin on. So there were, like, those flash sale sites, like, buy a TV or surplus TV for $15 or whatever, you know? Right. Those sites took Bitcoin. Mm -hmm. Uh, So I bought a Bluetooth waterproof speaker that was shaped like a (laughs) T-Rex and for eight Bitcoin. Oh, fucking That's the most expensive Bluetooth speaker in the world. Yeah. (laughs) Uh, I mean, everybody talks about the guy who spent 40 Bitcoin or whatever to buy two large pizzas. Yeah, no, I bought a Bluetooth waterproof speaker. Wow. Yeah. And you said that thing like broke as soon as yeah, you Yeah, I broke it. it. Yeah. yeah. Or it broke, I should say. It fell out of the shower. That's what happened. So, right. you know, without getting into exact amounts, I you, don't you, care. You made out pretty well. Yeah. Uh so at its height, like April twenty fourth, I believe, it hit sixty four thousand. Jesus. Each. Jesus. I had eleven point I'll say it, I don't care. Because okay. I don't have them anymore. Right. So I had eleven point three seven Bitcoin. <laughs> Oh my god! Yeah, dude. I had found my original wallet in 2017 when Bitcoin had shot up from like three thousand dollars to like eighteen thousand or twenty one thousand, and then it tanked. Uh, I when it shot up that much, I took it offline. And can I be honest with you? Yeah, I'm gonna. I'm just gonna pause for a second. I didn't know you outside yeah. of the game store. Sure. So when you said that originally, I was like, he's full of shit. No fucking way. When Elon Musk bought Bitcoin in De- in December, January, yeah, he posted a picture of his current portfolio. I oh, almost Elon? asked him. No, 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 him, or him. He yeah. did, and I almost was like, "Do you want to get married, dude?" Because <laughs> like you're looking pretty hot right yeah, now. It was like, like uh, at that point, it was only like six hundred twenty-five thousand. Yeah, and that wasn't even at its height. Like that was like fifty-two thousand each. I'm gonna kill myself. Ah, uh, dude, don't even worry about it. It's going up. Watch. Like I said, I'm not a financial Well, hold advisor. on. You spent $20 yeah. and your investment in, in a mere 10 years yeah. was 600 I walked thousand. away with 721000 Jesus Christ, dude. Yeah, because I sold it. I sold it when it, in one hour, it dropped $3,000. Not once has it dropped that fast. Yeah. That scared the shit out of me. So now I ask, what's the plan? Uh, I'm probably going to buy more <laughs> since it's lower. Okay. I'm going to probably, so I pay less taxes in six months, five months. Um, because I get tax on all the profits. I got it for a dollar. That's insane. That's yeah. Right. Well, that's how I felt about Dogecoin as I was like, worst case scenario, if this thing tanks to fucking point zero zero one cents again, I'm out 150 bucks. Like, I yeah, yeah, exactly. And that's what I suggest to everybody. Do not put your life savings into it. It is not a get rich quick scheme. It is something for the long term. It is something to do long term. It is not going to make you a quick buck. Do not expect to be able to flip it. It is not a hobby. What is it like to just see that much money like at one time? It's scary. It's scary. Like, I mean, so I've been paying my mom's medical bills. Good for you. Um, which is nice. Yeah. I might buy them a boat. I don't really. Know. Yeah. It's their dream. Like after my mom gets her transplant, like it's their dream to sail. So how many podcasts? Oh yeah. Huh? Where to? Just around. Nice. They both love the ocean. And my dad's always Can't relate. Like, since I was little, like they've 
sailboats and lighthouses and shit. Like that's yeah. that's their shtick. And they watch YouTube videos endlessly about just sailing. Of just sailing. I mean, you got like that's what they do. They're old people and they just watch. That's it. awesome, man. Yeah, God, I they hope have that a goal, and it would be amazing to be able to help them, like achieve it. How many podcasts do you have to be on before I start getting some stuff? I mean, depends on. Well, I can fire Robert hey, first. And, first, I lost three percent to broker fees. Okay, well, oh, hold on. What's three percent of seven? A lot. Yeah. A lot. Was three uh, percent? <laughs> so what? Like almost twenty twenty grand? More? Really? Yeah. Damn. What's seven hundred twenty five thousand? Yeah, three. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, oh, oh, boo, fucking who? who yeah, cares? I mean, I, I'm walking away with three quarters of a million dollars. Like, I mean, for twenty dollars. What would you What would you do with that money, Robert? I don't know, man. Not buy your mom a fucking sailboat, that's for sure. I'd well, probably... uh, and let's let's freeze that real quick. I might buy back in, right? Because well, so I... this is the next part. This is why I say I might buy back in. Go ahead. Guatemala just ratified that it is an acceptable form of currency that changes international laws on how Bitcoin can be exchanged. Bitcoin is now, you can now funnel your Bitcoin through the state of Guatemala and convert it to U.S. dollars and not be taxed. Oh, wow. Because the official currency of Guatemala is the U.S. dollar. There are no fees. You cannot be taxed for converting your currency. Yeah. Hmm. It And now Paraguay is suggesting that they're going to. So Central and South America are probably going to become the next Swiss or Cayman Islands. Damn. Yeah. It, I don't know if the mic picked you up on that, but it might have. Damn. Holy shit. Yeah. That's so, amazing. and this literally just got passed in the last year. Or last year. Well, last someone week. just got cuter. Last week. <laughs> well, and so here's the <laughs> shitty part. I cashed out before that happened. Oh. If I had known... I didn't even know yeah, it was on, it's, like, it's, their ballot. It's, but or it's, not, it's not at 64 again. I think you did a fine job doing... Yeah, I dropped it at 61. Still. I yeah. mean, that's fantastic. And Joe forever is like, it's 32,000. When are you going to get rid of it? And it's like, dude, I'm not. Like, I, I got it for a dollar. Like, let's see how the roller coaster goes. And then it dropped 3,000 in one hour. And I'm like, okay, I'm out. Yeah. Because, you know, it, it it's volatile. It moves very quickly. That must be a good feeling, though, just watching 20 fucking dollars turn into three quarters of a million. I, it's like watching paint dry. What are you talking about? Oh. It was 10 years. I guess, but... And I forgot about it for this seven is, or But six. the juice is definitely worth the squeeze on this one. Sure, yeah. But it's not advice. It's... it. I bumble fucked into it. Yeah. Like, I... <laughs> You know, here's a college kid who spent $20 and came out almost a millionaire. Robert's my only friend that I get legitimately worried if he just had that much money, what he would do with it. <laughs> uh, weren't we I'd talking about fine, how running out of Coke or whatever earlier? Uh, or running out of hookers to blow, right, snort exactly, Coke off of Right, house. I mean, that's what well, we, we, in episode two, we discussed that, like, I feel like to the average person, and, and then the example that I bring is, like, um Jordan Belfort, Wolf of Wall Street. Okay, yeah. You know? Normal kid. The grand schemer. Yeah, normal kid from Long Island. You know, he goes to school. He gets his broker license. Um, he's making so-so money as a broker. Market yeah, he's crashes. doing penny stocks. Right. Market crashes. Now he's making, what, what was, like, the opening thing he made? He made, uh, like, what was it? He said, uh, I made $49 million, which really pissed me off because I, ma- I made, it was almost a million a week. Yeah. You know what I mean? And it's like you see how progressively what money does to him. And I feel like with that much money, it's almost almost yeah. impossible to just not and now we're not talking millions we're talking seven hundred thousand dollars even that alone i gotta celebrate a little bit you yeah know what I mean? oh <laughs> like, yeah don't get me wrong like i'm thinking of like you know i could go to like i could go to a place right. i could go overseas like i'd really like to go to germany for yeah, and you're done i mean but it's nothing to you yeah i right know but like i also realized that like hey this isn't enough to live off of no not forever. yeah not forever no. like this is like and, like, my goal before was to buy land in Washington, buy the water rights, and build a homestead. Like, that was my goal. Well, I mean, you're smart, too. So, it's like, you. number one, you're aware of that, which is fantastic. Number two, you're saying you're going to buy back in, which is also smart. Number three, even I if I don't that, know if that, that part's well, smart, but yeah. we'll see. Right. <laughs> number three, if that wasn't an option, you would turn a trick, so to speak, to make that money become yeah. more money. Yeah. I, I mean, I'm savvy enough in magic that i could well you've been buying up collections left and right it looks like uh not recently i was a couple months ago 
Um, I actually sold out to one of the local stores. It's like twelve grand. So I'm down to like two decks. I, I have no interest really in I tried my hardest to get Robert into it back in like two thousand fourteen and what magic? Yeah. I got him and his mom into it for a second, but then they got all mad because I was fucking <laughs> be- I was fucking better than they were, so they fucking quit. Yeah. I'm bad. I'm bad at magic, though. Now hold on, though. So hold on. So this is going to be strictly just a quick thirty second thing for just the magic oh, players that go listen. For it. But uh, Return to Ravnica, um, no Gate Crash had a um, the ability Blood Rush. Uh huh. You know what I'm talking about? Yeah. So he ran a Gruel deck that was all around Blood Rush and that one Viper that was like a one one Viper. But, but it had death. Viper. But it had death. Yeah, but it had death touch. Yeah, and he would just cycle. And for a while, I Robert know. was it's legitimate. Wasteland Viper. Yeah, a, a lot of the times Robert was better than me, but then I just got better. <laughs> then he stopped playing. And I actually secretly think that that card alone is actually really good. Yeah, it's fantastic. Like Gore Clan Ramp- Rampager, which is like the one red, one green rampage mm-hmm. plus four, plus four and trample or yeah. whatever. Yeah. Like that card's nuts. He had that. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Well, that was the go-to for the Gruel deck at the time. Yeah. But I think that Wasteland Viper is also nuts because you can you can flash in yeah. and have a, a fucking death touch and just go, okay, cool. Next. Where's your next guy? Yeah, exactly. I remember his mom specifically was just like, I don't want to play this game anymore because every time we play, you got to fucking, uh, what did she say? <laughs> well, because I like to fucking, not only do I like to win, I like to make sure they know. You rub it in their face. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Jacob's a sore winner for I sure. I am a huge sore winner, but then... It's the only thing is good at. I respect it. Oh, see, my decks are, like, super <laughs> intricate. Like, my Brago deck takes, like, a million trigger- triggers to, like, do yeah. on a turn. And then same thing with my Mono Blue Venter before I took both of those decks apart. Uh, my Mono Blue Venter was just, like... It, it was, like watching a clockwork machine like it was like tap this turn this one sideways all these untap turn this one this one turns sideways See, and that's what mom saw and she was like all right i'm, done I'm with lost this game yeah yeah i'm done with this well game and she was pretty much like fuck you jacob you know, but uh, that you happens have my with my joyra well used to happen with my joyra deck is that too. the suspend one or the historic one the historic one oh, it's stupid because it's just like here's my zero drop artifact untap one damage draw a card discard card blah 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 and i'm doing like a million triggers based off of one thing yeah and then, and, and then it's like hey good game you want to play again yeah just and they're like no, fucking no, no dude what the <laughs> fuck just happened tell me explain please i think rob robert's always been that friend of mine where it's like whenever one of us got into something we both got into it kind of thing and i think that's what came into smash so you said they used to play. So is that why he's wearing the pineapple hat? Is he a swinger and you're a swinger? Right, right, exactly. Yeah. <laughs> uh, okay. Um, you know, you said that you were really into. Pro- I mean, you were a professional Halo player, which I think is awesome. You know, we were never on the professional level, but I mean, we're what? Right out of high school, it's like let's pick up Smash Bros. And it's like Smash Melee gets super popular, and it's like that's all we do. Oh yeah, that's you know that's what my high school friends they're very much into the fighting games. Me and Robert and not. just are not very good at winning <laughs> or losing to each other. We get um, really mad at each other. I don't know what you're talking about. See, I've never lost to you. That's also not true. Not a Let single it, game. On the record, anything. internalized forever on YouTube, my birthday, on my 23rd birthday. Wait, it's on YouTube? No, it will be now. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> 23rd birthday, I go over to I go over to a mutual friend's house to play Super Street Fighter Third Strike with Robert, and I fucking 5 him. That means no. he didn't win a game for five fucking rounds, yeah, and he refuses, to de- he refuses to... To deny or to to accept that, because it didn't happen. Well, it happened, so you know. Congrats! I know that's yeah. all it comes down to. So awesome, dude! Good job. <laughs> <laughs> that's pretty much all these games are. But yeah, you fucking got I think, me. I think that's one thing that you know. Uh, I mean, I did a very similar thing at Devry. They hosted a Halo Three tournament like a week after the game came out. So like, I had already smashed through my thousand achievements or whatever. Yeah. On the base game. And, uh, oh, thank you. Uh, and, uh, my friend who went the year before me, he's like, hey, there's a, there's a Halo tournament. You should come in and kick these guys' ass. I'm like, all right, cool. What's the prize? And they're like, uh, Xbox Elite. Wow. With a legendary version of Halo 3. I'm like, nice. oh, I'm in. I'm like, what's the cost? And then he's like, it's free. I'm like, fucking rad. All right, let's go. Let's get it, dude. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I did not end up winning. I got second place. But I had a lot of really good matches. Uh, I went 25-2 and two against Damn. someone on high ground, which if anybody plays Halo, that's the level with the gate. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, I, I, 
I mean, I knew that like when crouching, you don't show up on radar, and those motherfuckers just running around. I'm like, oh, okay, cool. And I would like Mahler melee him, so he'd get like super close. Not he'd turn around, turn a corner, and I'm crouch, and I would. It's you shoot them, and then you melee melee them, and they're dead. And it's it's split second. Like they have no idea. And in Halo games, you have a very small melee lunge range with every weapon. Yeah. And uh, he was not expecting it. So, and very smartly, I wouldn't stay in the same spot. <laughs> I would move around. You just, Holy shit, he's a genius. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> fucking shit. weird. So that's like <laughs> one, <laughs> when I watch people play, they're like camping in the same spot. I'm like, dude, they know where you're at. You got to keep them on their toes. Like they're going to run to that spot or they're going to run to a spot that they can see it. And... If they see you, they're going to shoot at you. Like, that's just... If they can't see you, now they're frantically worried, like, oh, shit. Where the fuck does this guy go? Right. Now they're, like, slow creeping around corners and shit, and then you come, like, drop on them like a spider monkey in the back, and you're just like, bah! Never, never been that good at that shit. Oh, dude. So I never would have ex- suspected that. Yeah, this... I felt really bad. We got to play this more kid, Titanfall together, dude. Oh, God. That is the best game of all time. You know, it's actually pretty cool. It's, I'll agree. Oh, it's pretty God. neat. I, I can't keep up with the speed, the maneuver, like the maneuverability of the game is a lot. It is. It's it is. Dude, wall running in the game is fucking Step ridiculous. one, you pick the grapple hook. Step two, you literally just play Legion and you win the game. That's literally just I mean, how, you know, the real I'm pretty, is getting the semi-automatic G2 fucking rifle, dude, and then just sweeping that, the competition. Uh, cock-a-poo-poo, but I'm whatever. pretty excited about the grappling hook in Infinite. Not going to lie. Yeah. Okay. I, that I was watching sweet. them yeah. swing did you, across Robert, the did map. Did you watch that? Did you watch that trailer oh. for the new Halo? I oh. didn't. No. Oh, dude. It it they're like sweet. spider monkeying across the level it and stuff. It looks pretty fucking sweet. Well, I guess it's time to transfer to what I wanted to talk about. And you went to Vegas on your 21st birthday. Yeah. When's the last time you went to Vegas? Uh, When I moved back. Were you old enough to like drink and gamble? Oh, yeah. I was 28. 20, yeah, 28. Did you, have a, did you end up positive? What? Like, like, did you gamble or anything? <laughs> oh, no, I drove through it. Not like STDs positive. <laughs> yeah, I was like really confused. I'm like, I thought what stayed in Vegas or yeah, happened yeah. in Vegas stayed in Vegas. What are you talking about? Yeah. Right. So we uh, went to go visit uh, my uncle in Vegas. And kind of really quick, going back to what you said about like the housing market in 2007 and eight. you know, especially now, he had a old... 70s built house in the valley in Los Angeles. He sold it for like seven and a quarter. Yeah. And he bought this beautiful fucking house for like two grand more. Yeah. But it's bigger and, you know. <laughs> Almost paid off. Right. Exactly. <laughs> you know, it's insane. So he, um, so we went to go visit them, but we had this whole itinerary. Um, I'm a Raiders fan. And uh, I know, I know, whatever. <laughs> And uh, <laughs> and uh, I wanted to go see the stadium. Um, Allie wanted to go to, um, I don't know if you guys are on like TikTok or anything like that, but like, have you ever seen like the Omega Mart? You ever heard of that? Robert? No. no. Nope. Oh, it's like a really cool, like, um, so it's kind of like if like Tim and Eric made a grocery store. You know what I mean? And like, if that makes sense, where it's like all the items are really weird and stuff like that. But the whole thing is okay. that you find like a little hidden compartment and it comes out into like this crazy interactive like art museum so she wanted to check that out and the goal was okay we're gonna leave the house at like 10 a.m we're gonna take care of what we want to do first non-drinking non-gambling then we're gonna go walk the strip the night before we had like nine white claws that is such a brave let i'm gonna interject really quick that is such a brave thing to say to walk the strip it's like what eleven miles long now. Yeah, it's a lot. And so that was actually something that uh, one of my uncle's friends said to me was like, "Hey, rule of thumb: if you look at something down the street and it looks close, it's not." No. So they're very big for a reason, right? And that so that was my goal. So, but the night before, we drank fucking white claws because that's what she likes to drink. And you know what? I like to drink it too. It tastes delicious. They're pretty good. But we're out of white claws. So I'm like, what do we do now? Well, we're at a party, so there's fucking booze everywhere. So she was like, I'm going to switch to, it was this really good, like, strawberry vodka and, like, these, like, this, like, pomegranate, like, sparkling water. Really yummy. I, my <laughs> go-to is Jack and Coke. So that's what I drink. So Jack and Coke, Jack and Coke. At one point, Allie's like, hey, I'm going to go I'm gonna go pee. I'm like, hey, while you're in the kitchen, can you please 
get me a Jack and Coke. She put more Jack than Coke in that thing, and that thing was like this much. So I'm Hell like, yeah, dude. Like, I'm like, oh, like Jesus Christ, you know? And so I drink that, you know, my whole thing. So with drinking, I don't know about you guys, but like if I have something to do the next day, I am full adrenaline. Like I just rally, throw up, I'm good to go. And um, I have to eat something greasy. So yeah, I, I agree. I had bread. That was what I had. Was that's I had fucking, not greasy. I had bagels with cream cheese. Like that's that was my before bed. So we go to bed. I go to bed before her. She hangs out with everybody still. And um, the old man. Yeah, I know. And I and I wake up the next morning. It's like seven in the morning. We went to bed like five hours prior. And she's like, "Hey, hey." I'm like, "What's up?" She goes, "I just threw up in the bathroom." Hell yeah, dude. And I don't feel good. Oh, no. I'm like, okay. This is like daddy daycare. Right. You kind of. <laughs> and I'm just like, oh, my God. So, like, I go to Albertsons. First of all, let me also say, I had no idea Pedialyte would work for adults. Yes. Yeah, like, man. What do no, you mean? That is, like, the go-to. That's, like, what you no do. no idea. So, she goes, get, go get me, like, a blue Gatorade. And I was, like, going to go get it. And my friend who I was with was, like, no, get Pedialyte. Yeah. You know? I drank two of those things like a fucking champ. It's like 8.30 at this point. I'm good to go. Yeah. But she goes, well, I need time to get ready it's and stuff like literally that. Literally like concentrated electrolyte. Right. <laughs> so she's like, I need to go get ready. <laughs> literally five hours go by. I've just been sitting in the bed, just sitting there. Like, I can't go back to bed. Like I'm just sitting there. It's like noon at this point. It's noon. So <laughs> plans are ruined. You know what I mean? So I'm like, okay, well, let's still go to the strip or whatever. So we get there. The only spot we go to is the Cosmopolitan. Horrible. I mean, like, I'm not, so I'm, it's, tw- it's 2021. We experienced a whole year of doing nothing. Yeah. Vegas was obscenely busy. Yeah. Crazy yeah. Have busy. Have you seen the videos of interjection to not take far away? But right. This yeah, yeah. directly relates. Disneyland just opened. Yeah. Have you seen the videos of the lines? Mm-hmm. It's fucking crazy. There's lines down and around the street for miles. That's fucking crazy. Fuck that, dude. Yeah, fuck it's that. like, it's opening weekend. Get the fuck over it. You didn't get to go to see Mickey Mouse for a year. It's okay. <laughs> Guess what? It's been around for 60 years. It's going to be around a little bit longer. So I think strike one was the fact that we were both hungover. Uh-oh. Strike two is the fact that I wasn't currently like aware that the world had stopped standing still. And people were just out, no masks, whatever. I mean, I got my shots, so like I feel fine, whatever. So I'm also rocking the no mask. But we're in the we're in the casino, and it's just like I'm not positive the entire time. Like I put in like 150 bucks, and I'm like, okay, well I'm at 150 bucks. This fucking sucks. Now what do we want to do? And we're like, okay, well, we can still try doing the Omega Mart thing. And I look at tickets. Like it's like the next thing is like the next day at like five o'clock. We're gonna leave the next day at like noon. So that's out of the question. Well, we can go to the strip. Well, it really bums us out the fact that there's all this beautiful architecture and gambling and drinks and all this stuff outside is fucking sad homeless people in like <laughs> the 120 degree weather and it's busy. So we're like, okay, I don't want to deal with that. I'm got anxiety. So it's like, okay, well, let's go back to arts. We did nothing but lose $150. Like, and we were there in, in, on the strip for like 20 minutes. Like, it was so fucking shitty. Like, so I got to go back because Vegas is for me, dude. I fucking love gambling. (laughs) Yeah, dude. Gambling rocks. We should go to Vegas. I would love to go to Vegas. Like, honestly, whenever you're ready, dude. So the first time when I was driving to Seattle, when I was moving all my shit from Phoenix to go up there, I stopped in one of the station station hotels. Yeah. Which is like, if you're, if you've been to Vegas a few times, it's like where the locals go. Mm Mm-hmm. And uh, it's so it's off the beaten path, but it's it's pretty down, it's pretty chill. It's That's not what we should have done. Yeah. yeah. And uh, my uh, biological hand me twenty bucks, and he's like, "Here you go, kid." I'm like, "Okay, cool, whatever, free twenty bucks." He's like, "No, it's dipshit, throw it in the machine." I'm like, "Okay, whatever." <laughs> so I put it in, and you know, it's it's like a nickel slot, and. Yeah. Uh, and I hit like, you know, full bet. Like, it's not my money. I don't care. So I'm just like full bet, hit all three buttons, and then I slap the big button. And it's like, it rolls and rolls and rolls. And then it's like free game, free game, free game. Free game, free game, free game. Nice. Free game, free game, free game. Free game, free game, free game. Times three, times three, times three. Holy free shit. Game, free game, free game, free game, free game. <laughs> so, like, it finally comes to an end. And I shit you not, like, three and a half minutes later. And it was like a $69 payout. Nice. 
<laughs> from 20 bucks. <laughs> I mean, it's a nickel slot, so you're not going to make millions off of it. But, like, the amount of time I stood there just watching it spin and do its thing, it's like, yeah. couldn't you just, like, do it? <laughs> like right, cut right. That gap out. I don't know. Vegas would would be cool if I had a plan. That's like my whole thing. Like, I next time I go back, like I'm gonna stay on the strip. I'm gonna catch a fucking show. Oh. I'm gonna go to a fucking buffet. No, and I'm, well, and that's what I did. I cashed out, didn't gamble again, and I went and bought a buffet. What do you mean, no dummy? <laughs> fucking. I what? mean, no dummy. The plan is. Uh, you go gonna go f- down to the titty bar. Yeah. Get some, well, you gotta go down to fucking. Shoved in your you face. gotta go to Fremont Street. Get some fucking cheap ass PBR tall boys and some hot dogs, dude. Start drinking. Wow. Uh, uh, hey, don't do it within like a hundred feet of a convenience store. It's actually illegal. That rocks, dude. Yeah, still do that on Fremont Street. Didn't you say you, you and can. Dad? Didn't you say you, you and Dad drink. went to uh, you went to like Caesars and got like a sh- couple shots and it was like fifty bucks? Dude, we got shots of fucking Crown and they, it was like fifty dollars a shot at at. Uh, what was it like the reserve at list Caesars? One? Yeah, I don't know. We were, <sighs> The we walked bag. up and we were like, we just want two shots of whiskey. And that was like their fucking well whiskey. And they were like, here, it's like $40. Oh, my I'm like, God. Oh, are you fucking serious, dude? Yeah, and like no, that thanks. didn't even pay for like fucking video gambling at the at the bar, dude. I don't know. That sounds fucking like a nightmare. Hey, yeah. real quick. It's time for Ask Jacob. Would you rather? Oh, boy. This oh, is a good one. I was gonna Uh-oh. ask you why you're random? so gay. No, these are ones. <laughs> why, why are you so gay? <laughs> no, uh, Would you let your girlfriend lick peanut butter? No, 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 no. Yes. All right. So here's my favorite, <laughs> and you're a new person on the on the podcast, so I got to, I have to ask. Uh huh. Okay? You're with your girlfriend. Uh huh. You're in a hotel room. Yeah. She's going to the bathroom, and lightning strikes. Freaky Friday situation happens. Would you rather? Okay. Have sex with your girlfriend, but her consciousness is the parent of your choice. Oh, no, not this again. Or or would you rather have sex with the parent of your choice, <laughs> but the consciousness of your girlfriend? Ugh. Come on. One of her parents? No, no, no. Uh, your just parent. A, uh, it, oh, yeah. Uh, oh. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Uh, so the consciousness, so you're having sex with your girlfriend with the consciousness of the parent of your choice. Yeah, no, I'm good. I, no, come on. No. He said no. I'm Jesse, <laughs> Jesse. No. <laughs> come on. You no. have to answer. Look, you got to pick one, I'm pleading the dude. fifth. There's no fucking way. No, you got to oh, pick we, one, we answered. Dude. Okay, yeah, cool. What were your one. answers? My answer was I pick my girlfriend's body and my dad's brain because I'm going to show him what's really fucking going on. <laughs> what I don't remember shit? what I picked. I don't remember. I'm afraid. Like... Oh, man, my mom thinks I'm a good, wholesome boy. Mm-hmm. Like, it's just, no, it's not going to happen. Come on. Yeah, no. And then you're talking about, like, her parents, and it's just like... Uh, you no. can't pick one? No. <sighs> Fine, I have to do it again. <laughs> okay. It's time I'm sorry. For Ask Jacob. All right. How about this? Would you rather... <laughs> oh, boy. That every time dangerous. there is a child within five feet of you, you get a throbbing erection, like, uncontrollable. Like, no matter what you do, <laughs> your fucking boner's out, okay? <laughs> or, every time someone says the word Obama, you have to just yell the hard R. Nice. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I do that one. <laughs> we know. Uh, I know. Yeah, we know. <laughs> uh, you know, if my girlfriend were answering that question for me, she'd probably choose the first one. Right. Because it already happens. Oh. <laughs> Damn. Uh, she complains all the time. She's like, what the fuck? I you get boners everywhere? Do, yeah. But now it's just with children. But you're alone. So Aww. you have to... So so, so every time yeah. a child's around, you get an that erection? Just, oh, man. Or every time someone <laughs> just says, hey, no, nah, I really it, feel it's like... It's really easy. It's got to go the hard R. Really? Yeah. No. Pedof- no. 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 Well, no. You don't have to fuck the kids. No, I'm but just, it just can be misconstrued. I'd rather just say the hard R. Oh, you know what's <laughs> yeah. crazy is I think someone brought up a really good point. It's like I feel like I don't underappreciate how much someone says Obama. <laughs> like so, it's like I feel like that's gonna come up for years. Yeah, yeah, loud, and you got to yeah. say it. So yeah, you picked that one. Well, yeah. Is it anytime somebody says it out loud, or just like anytime you see or hear Obama? I I was no, whenever someone says, whether you're watching yeah. CNN, the radio, someone at a like fucking party, it has party. to be physically spoken. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, that wouldn't be too bad, man. Yeah, I'd, I'd rather one. take that one. It sucks, but I think it's better than having a boner with kids around. It would happen a lot less, dude. 
Uh, I would be screaming the hard R a lot less than I would be having boners around children, so I'll take the lesser <laughs> evil. All right, one more. <laughs> I'm going to do it again. Okay. I'm going to do it again because I paid a lot of money for these. Would you rather? Yeah. Every person that you talk to, mm-hmm. a future employer, your girlfriend, parents, doesn't matter, you speak in a super offensive, yes, racist Indian accent like Apu from The Simpsons. Okay. Okay. Or... For 20 minutes, you have to wrestle the parent of your choice. Don't say naked. naked. Don't naked. say naked. Naked. <laughs> naked. <laughs> parent of, and they're into it. They're not going to be like, why am I Why am I doing this? They're like, oh, let's fucking get it, Jesse. What are you doing, step bro? Yeah, yeah. you know yeah. what? Yeah, I would fucking uh, Greco-Roman wrestle my father. <laughs> yeah. on, uh, like, as if, could I pick where we wrestle? Cause <laughs> sure. <laughs> Like, we would be on a mountain for sure. That'd be fucking <laughs> sweet, Just dude. Like, like a tech and tech fucking yeah, battle. Be like, who's the, who's the patriarch now? It's 20 minutes throw down. Oh, my God. So what do you pick? Macho but it's man, not you. It's him. Macho yeah. Man ref. I, man, I, that's hard. So like, I'd be like, thank you very much with yeah, everybody. It might have to be that one because my, so my dad's 6'5". Yeah, he, but like, he's not out for blood. He's got to wrestle him. No, but he's built like a brick shit house. The would, dude looks like a football lineman. You would rather for the rest of your life just talk like a poof in the yeah, Simpsons? Yeah, probably. That, that dude's scary. That would be pretty funny. <laughs> you <laughs> like, would be quite the pariah with your friends. You know what I would do? Yeah. Is I would pretend that I was in like a car accident. At and what like point something... does it become weird and just normal? Yeah, it's like, oh, it's Jesse. It's just what he does. Yeah, he just talks like an Indian. He's Indian now. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> it's like it's just a facade. No, no, really. He actually just, that's what he sounds like now. Okay, you know what? That's actually a very good point. I'm still gonna pick just like Robert. I'm Are you taking doing my another one. I'm, no, I'm I'm out for now. But I'm taking my I'm taking on my dad for sure. Let's go, dude. You're about to learn today. Now, when I mean my dad's scary, he's literally like a barrel chested, wide shouldered, like oh damn, he'd fuck you up. Yeah, no, he'd bend me like a pretzel. Like there's just damn based. Yeah. You okay? Yeah, no, the kitty's just fighting me. Is, is Ducky. It's Ducky. Yeah, oh, it's Ducky's, Ducky's Ducky. going ham on me right now. Ducky's kind of the She's all of the rubbing podcast. against me, but then she tried playing with me too. Here, get her, get her up here. Let's make her do. Hey, a, shit, hey, quit trying to call, claw me. Let's, let's Kitty. make, let's make her do a sound. Can't hear you. Can't hear, hear, hear up. Where is she? Uh, get her by the scruff. She's fine. Go. Oh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh my dad, <laughs> Ducky, no. <laughs> She's like a slinky. Yeah. <laughs> pick her up. Well, I tried to pick her up one hand, and she just fucking like. Hi, Kitty. Over here, Bendy doing, noodled around, yes. out of my arms. She has no idea what to do. It's a good cat. You All right, are kind of special. You have really cute blue eyes, but man, oh yeah. What do you have to say? What do you got? Okay. Oh, oh, good girl. Oh. Okay, okay, all done. She's, a, she's, she's our pissed. sound off. Her tail's flicking. <laughs> well, um, so you know, yeah. Do you do you still do streaming or anything like that? <sighs> I might pick it back up. So. I've I was going to say, do you have any plugging to do before we before we go? Oh, are we done done? Yeah. We done oh. done. Oh, are you hungry? I'm a little hungry. I would like some beers, but we're about the, we're about the hour and a half mark. Wow, I can't believe you're cutting me off. We like could that. still hang out. Oh, Fuck. okay. All right. <laughs> do, you have, do you have an agenda to get on the mic? No, I don't know. <laughs> I just like talking. <laughs> so. Yeah, we could talk. On, uh, we, okay. we, could, we could not record and still talk on the mic if you want. Oh, okay. Yeah. So I'm just asking. Just role play? Yeah, we can. Do you have any? Do you have anything to plug? or? Uh, not really. I mean, I so I do stream on Twitch every once in a while. Uh, very, very rarely. I, right now I'm doing Burning Crusade Classic. Uh, I haven't streamed it yet, but I'm probably going to go pretty deep on it. What's your stream name? Uh, Twitch.tv slash Shagruiz, S-H-A-G-R-U-I-E-Z. That's way better than Bizzer. Holy oh, fucking it's shit. it's not. Holy shit. God, that's a way better name than fucking this guy. No, it isn't. What the fuck is Bizzer? That's me, dude. Oh, that's my... Oh, okay. I mean, if we want to talk about, like, screen names, talk about, like, this one. My OG Halo 3 one is The 1-3 Ludwig, because the 1 and 3 look like a B. That's an OG Xbox name. Damn. Yeah, still better than Roberts. No, yeah, probably. That's, that's bad. I hate that name too. That's fucking. Oh, whatever, right? Robert. Okay. Fucking plug, plug your shit again one more time if we have to. We don't have to plug shit, dude. They know me. Twitch TV. Come on. Yeah, Twitch uh, TV slash Bizzer Boy B I Z R B O I. Good job, man. Uh, I guess. Fuck Jacob. 
that's the that's my new emote on Twitch. Is well, fuck Jacob. It's just emote. gonna be Jacob with like getting smacked with like a purple dildo. Yeah, perfect, easy peasy. Yeah, and his butthole. <laughs> just. <laughs> God damn it, Jesse! Thank you so much. Yeah. Thanks for coming on, man. Oh, I hope I, I hope uh, you come back on soon. Maybe without this guy because he fucking sucks. So. Man, yeah. you know I'll be I back soon. Oh yeah, you'll that. be back fucking next week. There's no fucking yeah, issue. We, Fuck we yeah, got dude. down the rabbit hole. All right, I think we're good. <laughs> all right, guys, thank you so much for listening. Episode ten, very momentous. We didn't even really talk about it, but good job for me. I'm proud that I stuck with it this long. Here's to well, episode way 100. To suck your own dick. I know. Dude, I'm the fucking best. <laughs> Is right. your lower rib removed too? Everybody well. praise Jacob. <laughs> yeah. Congratulations on 10 episodes. Are you sure we're ending right now? Yeah, we're fucking done. (laughs) Fuck you guys. Thanks for coming down to the basement. Be sure to subscribe so you don't miss a single episode. While you're at it, leave a rating and review to help other people find out about the show. Got a question? Email Jacob at tbdmanchild at gmail.com or find him on Instagram at basement underscore dwelling underscore Jacob. Twitter at tbd underscore jacob and youtube the basement dweller we will see you real soon